Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I'm so excited to share this cute little box thing that I got. I saw this advertised on Facebook and it made me like want to purchase it because you know I saw it and the pictures look cool. Basically this website specializes in making subscription boxes for certain shows or whatever else. So they were advertising this friends box and I thought it was so cute. I love friends and at first I was a little hesitant to buy it because I think it was almost like 40 or 50 dollars and I'm like I don't really know if it's worth that. The reviews on previous boxes were really good and so I figured alright I'll try it. I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm so excited. I haven't seen anything that's in it so this is gonna be a complete surprise. The box just came like 10 minutes ago so I like rushed to put some makeup on so I could film this. But so far I'm, I don't really like how the box came. I'm gonna like... <laughs> this is how it came with the wrapping all off of it. So, you know, it looks like it's been through a lot already. So hopefully there's nothing in it that's like fragile, I guess. It looks like someone already went in it. So that's a little disappointing, but okay. And I mean, honestly, it probably isn't even the company. So I'm not even going to talk shit on them. It's probably FedEx. I'm going to take off this wrapping here. Yeah, this box is definitely opened. Just based off how it's opening like that. So that's disappointing. Hopefully everything's in it size it says we are on a break okay it doesn't look like anything was really touched though here we go so this is the inside of the box so this is what it looks like so in here <laughs> i'm looking at the stuff okay so first you get a purple how you doing sweater there's a keychain a central perk mug socks the one with a chick and a duck salt and pepper shakers um like a dartboard i guess that is and a foldable backpack so what is that like seven things i mean pretty good amount of stuff when you go to sign up for a box they let you choose a size just for like future tops or whatever so this was the top and I got it in a medium just because I didn't know if it would run big or small and I would rather it be big. Also with this website and the subscriptions, you can either buy one box or you can sign up for four. So I only did one just because I didn't know what I was going to get. This is what it looks like. It's cute. This smells so weird. How you doing? And then next, this is the couch keychain here. And then I think it's... And then behind the couch, there's also a little part of it that says friends, like a different type of keychain. It also says friends. <laughs> so then there's a mini dartboard here. And it's magnetic, by the way, obviously. Oh, wow. They weren't kidding when they said mini. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that's it there. It has a little friends logo at the bottom. And then foldable backpack. Um I'm not really sure. Okay, so it's like this. I don't really know how it opens. Oh. What the hell? Oh wow. Oh oh wow. Okay. So it, you can basically have it as like a little I guess if you want to call it clutch, not really, but you know, it's smaller. And this is like the backpack part of it. And then the straps on the back. I like that they incorporated like, you know, stuff from the show, obviously central perk, the couch, the picture frame, like the water fountain from like the intro, lobster, there's a taxi on it, New York skyline side. It kind of reminds me of a lunch bag, the way that it's like shaped and stuff. It looks like a tall lunch bag. And then we could just put it over. Button clasp down at the bottom here. So that's cute. Next are crew socks. It set just says one size fits most adults. And they're just black socks with the friends logo again on it. Okay, I was going to wait till the end to give my opinion on this. And I'm not, I mean, this is cute. Like, if you're a real, you know, big Friends fan, it's cute to have. I definitely feel like, I don't know, because I want to say, like, this kind of seems like stuff that you could buy at, like, 
Hot Topic or, you know, any store. But most of the products do say that, like, it was built by this company. So that's probably why. I don't know. I don't... Let's continue. We'll continue. All right, so here is the salt and pepper shaker. So I'm just going to leave them in this foam stuff here, but this is what they look like. It has a duck and a chick. The last thing that's in the box is a Central Perk mug, which I was actually going to buy one of these at Five Below the other day. I looked at it. It was a white one. Something just told me not to get it. I don't know why. I just figured I don't really use mugs that often. And I'm glad that I didn't because I got one. This one, it just has like all the dust of this little foam piece on it. So that's why it looks kind of dusty. <laughs> but it says friends on it. And then Central Perk on the other side is a black mug. And that is everything. Personally, I feel like you're paying a lot more money just because the stuff is by, I guess, the company, made by the company or built by it or something. And then obviously they probably are adding more money just with packaging and stuff so that the stuff looks cute in the box and everything. You also can't microwave this mug, by the way, if you're trying to heat up your tea or something. I'm reading that now. So my opinion on this box, I think it's cute. For one time, I don't foresee myself buying this again. Personally, I will never use probably most of this stuff. Like, I'll wear the sweater around my house and the socks. I'll wear the socks out. I don't care. I like half the items, and then the other half I don't really care for. I'm never going to use a magnetic dartboard. And that's kind of what's hard about, like, buying a subscription box like this is that it's cool that it's a surprise because you don't know what you're going to get. But also, like, if I would have seen what was going to be in the box, I probably wouldn't have bought it, to be completely honest. Just because, you know, I could probably buy this stuff for a lot cheaper and I wouldn't have to be paying extra money for things that I don't want, along with shipping. I think if you really are into Friends, then it's worth a try buying it. They are selling their winter box. I think this was the fall one. And yeah, winter boxes, they started putting on sale and I think it ships in December. So this was the fall box. And also, sorry, I keep like rambling. Each box is based on a different season of Friends. I think this was the season three box and then the winter box will be season four. I'm not mad at it though. I think if I wouldn't have bought it, I would have kept looking at it and I would eventually bought it just because like it was so appealing to me. Definitely check it out. They also have other shows. I think they have The Office if you're into that. A little postcard too that came in it that shows everything. Let me know if you guys have bought a box from them previously and what your thoughts are or if you're interested. I think if you do just one box, it's $39.99. If you do a subscription that's four times a year, then the boxes are $35.99 and then also shipping. I feel like at the end it was like $47 or something. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it. I was really excited to get it though. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. If you get the winter box, let me know what's in it because I'm kind of curious. And that's another thing. That's why I wanted to get this box was because... They don't sell at least the previous boxes that they had that they showed like what was in it from the website said that they don't sell previous seasons boxes so I didn't want to miss out on this one. That is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.